Forget apple, the original pies were filled with oysters, fish, and even crow. Pie has been around since Egyptian times, but it wasn't always as sweet and buttery as the pies we love today. The original pie crust was several inches thick and made with oats, wheat, rye, and barley. It acted as a container or baking pan for the filling. It was tough because it had to withstand hours of baking, so it wasn't really meant to be eaten. Also, pies weren't called pies. They were called coffins. You know, the boxes you put dead people in. But the word actually just means basket or box. The Greeks invented pie pastry in 1304 BC. It was made with a flour water paste. They wrapped it around meat. Yep, you heard that right. Some of the first pies were made with meat. The Greeks wrapped their meat in pastry to help seal in the flavorful juices of the meat. Our ancestors weren't afraid to put anything in their pies. And I mean anything. The Romans used oysters, mussels, and fish. Crows were put into pies, and their feet were used as handles. There were even recipes for tortoise pie. Oh, and we can't forget people! Apparently, hiding living people and birds in pie provided great entertainment in the 1600s. They called it animated, or surprising pies. Here's how one went down. At an event for King Charles I, the world's tiniest boy, an 18-inch tall seven-year-old, was hidden in a crust-covered pie and presented to the king and queen. Before the queen cut the crust, it began to rise and popped out the tiny boy dressed in armor. Oh man, I wish I was around to see that. You're probably wondering how the cherished American apple pie came about. Sorry to burst your bubble, but the recipe came from England, somewhere in the 15th century. But it wasn't sweet at all, since sugar was pretty scarce during that time. England also claims they invented the first cherry pie for Queen Elizabeth I. In 1620, pie was brought to America by the pilgrims. Apple wasn't popular right away, and pumpkin pie didn't appear in a cookbook until 1675, 54 years after the first Thanksgiving. But we did start to see more fruit filling because the New World had plenty of wild berries and fruit. But pies still weren't sweet. The colonists saw pie as a way to make the most of their ingredients. By the 1700s, pie was served with every meal in America, and not just for dessert. George Washington's favorite pie had a sweet bread filling, you know, organ meat. Pies finally started getting sweet in the 1800s. Sugar went from a scarce resource to being common and cheap because the U.S. started refining sugar at this time. As America moved west, we started to see vegetable fillings like rhubarb, green tomatoes, and sweet onions. People also started eating pie for breakfast so they could have enough fuel for a long day in the 1900s. Today, pie has evolved into America's traditional dessert, rotating in dessert cases in pretty much every diner across the country. Pumpkin and chocolate are fan favorites, but apple pie has baked its way into Americans' hearts as a true dessert classic.